Hi, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com. So let's take a look at the alpha loading system, which is part of the RPL, the PPL, the CPL, and the ATPL license, but mainly the first three. So there's, it comes out of the RPL, PPL, CPL workbook, and let's dive in and take a look. So these are the instructions here on the left. This page appears above this page. Um, I've just laid it out like this for the video. And then uh, these numbers here are what we're going to go and enter over here. And we're going to follow these instructions to do it. So the first thing they want us to do is grab the basic empty weight, 1,050, and come and enter it over here. And already I've made a mistake. Okay, so let's enter that as 1050. And then what we need to do... Along the top here, this is what we call our basic in index, uh, empty index units, which is there. Now, for these alpha loading charts, CASA is going to give you that. They're going to, at a PPL, RPL level, they're going to give you the index units, and you just have to find it on the top here. So you're just going to go along, and each one of those is uh, 10 kilo, and you're just going to come along. There's 200, 250, 260. So it's going to go right there. Now, a point here to note is this. When you're filling these out, if you use a big blunt fat pencil like that, there's too much error factor. I mean, look, that's a. F if you look at that on that top line there, I'll just zoom it. Okay, look, that's a 50 kilo gap, and that's a 50 kilo mark. So you actually need quite a sharp pencil or line, and you're going to or you're going to get those wrong. So that's exactly where it would go there. So these are 50 kilo marks here. These are 77 kilo marks. Why are they 77? Because our average passenger is 77 kilos. So you just got to be a little bit careful that you're working with the right numbers as you move across these. And these ones up here are 10, and you can see that because there's 200, there's 300, and if you count them out, there's 10. So instruction one wanted us to obtain our basic empty weight and our index units from the numbers down below here. And then it wanted us to go and em enter the basic empty index units, so empty weight index units, on the top scale, and enter the weight on the right. The next step is enter the weights of the load items required for the flight, okay, um, in the right-hand columns. So that's down here. So row one is 150 kilos, and this is so we can cross-check. So let's just 150, okay. And I'm just going to do that for each of those, and then you can come back after I pause it. Okay, so I've gone and entered those, and you can see them down the right-hand side. Now, just a few tricks here that you need to be very, very careful. So, first and foremost, this one here is the whether row 2 is forward-facing or rear-facing. Because over here, you'll notice there's two rows. Row 2 has two rows, and we're only ever going to fill out one of them. So, it's either going to be forward-facing or aft-facing. So you need to look at that and you need to read the question. If, in this case, it's forward facing, so I put the weight there on that row, and the heart facing, I put dot, dot, dots. Now you need to very importantly do that, because otherwise what happens is row three had 120 kilos, and if you don't put those cross that out, it's very easy to enter that up there and then start making a mistake. So then the other thing is, they're going to give you nose baggage and rear baggage, so you need to enter those. So there's the nose baggage, and there's the rear baggage. And then you put in your zero fuel weight, which they give you down here. So that's the weight of the plane once it's loaded with no fuel. That's there, 1,520, which is just all of these added together. And then you've got your total uh, weight, which will be after you add the fuel. So let's put in the fuel there, and then the total weight. Now, after we draw all these up, and I'll draw that up in a sec for you, what it's going to do is it's going to come down here, and that point there is going to be 1,630 kilos, and that's where it's going to be. And then this point here represents, after we burn off, a bit less than 113 kilos, because you're going to have your reserves and your unusable fuel in your tank. So you're just going to draw a vertical line down there, the weight of all of your possible fuel burn, and what you're trying to do is just make sure that you're still going to remain in the envelope. Because you can imagine if you're just there and you burn off all your fuel, you're actually going to end up outside the envelope on this particular one. So you do need to draw that vertical on that loss of weight and make sure you're still in the envelope if you're anywhere near the edges. Like if you're over here, you'd need to draw it. And if you're anywhere over on this back edge, you'd also need to draw it. 
So once you get those numbers from your examination, uh, from the data given to you by CASA, now you, after you plug them in, now you want to draw it up. So let's, again, you need a very thin, sharp pencil, or you're going to get this wrong. CASA is going to make you type in these numbers at the end. So you need to be very, very accurate with them. So I'm actually going to zoom this in so we can be more accurate. So the first one is 150 kilos. So we want to come across exactly three of these 50 kg boxes. Okay. Now how can I remember they're 50? I just remember it, but it's also marked over on the right hand side here for you. Okay. 77s are these ones, 50s are these, and these lines here help you draw straight lines when you're heading down vertically. So is that accurate? It's, I think that's deadly accurate about It's a bit less than halfway, so about there. I'm going to go with that. I'm just doing my own, right? Now, okay, so now we, what we do is we've, we've done that measurement, so now we draw a vertical line down, and we end up there. Now, our next row is 160. And these ones here are, again, we can just double check if we want, they're 50 kilos. So we need to go just slightly more than exactly three boxes. So there is three there, probably there, and I need to go 10 kilos more, which is there, right? So then, <coughs> next row is blank, so we go all the way through it. Now, if you had rear-facing seats, if they'd given you rear-facing seats, this one here you would have went all the way through, and then you would have done it there. Okay. And by the way, you need to pay attention to these arrows here. These arrows tell you which way to go for that particular station of weight. So now our next row is 120. And again, see these are getting bigger and bigger because what's happening is the weight is making more impact. 50 kilos is having more impact on our uh, center of gravity as it gets further and further back. So that there is one that there is probably a hundred and that there is a hundred and twenty okay so then we draw that vertically and then we have 40 now these ones here are 10 kilo divisions so there's one that's 20 30 and I try and be deadly accurate, exactly four boxes, which is there. So then what we're up to is we get here to our, we've got nil in it for our, uh, for our front, our rear baggage compartment. And then our fuel doesn't affect in this particular plane on this loading chart. Alpha doesn't affect our center of gravity. So now we can just draw that all the way down. Okay. And how do we know how far to draw it down? How do we know how far to stop? Because when we have a blank one, it won't have that on there. What we do is we get to 1633, which is there, that, that line just there. There's 1600, 1633, sorry, that top line. And that's where we stop drawing. Now, that's what the plane is loaded when it's full of fuel. And as we burn our fuel, our weight's going to go down and down and down and down. And if we burn all of our usable fuel, it's going to end up just about there. So if we run the calculation, which we don't, couldn't really need to, it's up there, 1633 minus 113, it would give us 1520, just to double check. And, and 1520, whoops, 1520, there's 1500, there's 1600, there's five in between, so that's 1520, and that's deadly accurate. Okay, so I've just drawn up some new numbers in green, um, and let's run through it just as a second quick one just to show you. So the first one is 250, so there's 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250. This is the uh, index units, basic empty weight index units. So I draw a vertical line down to there. Now these are 50 kilos, and um, the... We need to go across 100, so we need to go across exactly two boxes. All right, then we're just a little bit 
to the right of halfway, so that would be one, and that would be two there. All right, we draw vertical. Make sure we get it spot on. Now we want to go another hundred. Actually, no, we don't. Look, it's been blanked out. So this one I've chosen to go rearward facing or aft facing. So now we're going to continue down to here. And now what we want to do is we've got 100 kilos, so we need to go exactly two boxes. So it's just right of the middle, which would be there. That's one. And just right of the middle would be two there. So then I draw that down. Now we're up to, let's see which station we're talking about, our nose baggage, and we've got 50. No, sorry, row three we're up to. And we've got 100 over here, 100. It's a little bit hard because I didn't draw them in the boxes. And we need to go across exactly uh, two boxes. And I'm on the line, so that's going to be easy. That's going to be right there, which is two, because it's two lots of 50 for 100 kilo. There's the weight, and there's the weight. Now we want to go down vertically and we'll get our next one. We get down vertically. Now this time we want 50 kilo. Okay, so we can we check out the arrow. The arrow says to go that way. Go across. Each of these is 10 kilo now. So there's 1, 20, 30, 40, 50. And that's kind of just a little bit, sh it's over halfway, but it's just a little bit short. Get it as accurate as you possibly can. Now we want to draw that down. And this one is nil, so we can go straight through it. And the fuel, these will be nil stations. Okay, so we come all the way down. And our total weight is 1470, which is going to be somewhere down below. There's 1480. So it's going to be just below that point. So there's 1500 and these are 20, so it's actually going to be about there. And I'm just going to turn that into a little cross. So that's my takeoff weight, and then I'm going to burn 120 kilos of fuel, which is going to take me down there's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Just going to put me right there. So it should be six rows. And that's my zero fuel weight. Or my, sorry, no, my, that's going to be my landing weight. If I burn 120 litres worth of fuel. So that's how to do loading chart alpha. I'm Matt from pilotpracticeexams.com. Check out all our practice exams at practiceexams.pilotpracticeexams.com. Also, we have a bunch of uh, other videos on YouTube that help. We've got navigation videos and all types of things. So check us out if you're Australian or if you're from overseas, that's fine too. If you're English speaking, but if you're Australian, we've built a whole asset and resource to help you pass your pilot exams. pilotpracticeexams.com.